Okay, uh, we have Shigeo Hirose as a speaker today. We, uh, he talks on creative design in robotics and its impact on the, the commissioning, the commissioning of Fukushima Daiichi. Uh, please first let me briefly introduce uh, Hirose Sensei. And I would also like to share with you my long term questions. What is creative design? Hoping that uh, you could help me answering this question after his talk. So Professor Hirose is, uh, of course, well known uh, figure in robotics. He's Professor Emeritus, uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology, and the director of Hilo Laboratory, recently established, and he's the chairman of Hybot Corporation. <clears throat> I found uh, his <clears throat> biography in the uh, TIT, Tokyo Institute of Technology webpage. So there's only the <clears throat> uh, academic careers here, but he has uh, developed over 150 robots, uh, as I found in some webpage. And he's, he got uh, many, many honors and awards. Among them, the, the, the major award include uh, uh, 1999, the Pioneer Award from IEEE Robotics and Automation Society. This is a, the very first uh, winner of the Pioneer Award. And in 2006, uh, he uh, received the Purple Ribbon Medal from Japanese government. In 2009, he received Joseph F. Engelberger Robotics Award. Well, uh, in the web page of the university, the, uh, he said uh, there are plenty of interesting areas of research. Uh, sorry, I cannot read. That, that may not be particularly useful to society, but my personal motivation in studying robot, robot has always been to create something truly useful to people. Essentially, I wanted to use my knowledge and skills to some purpose, purposeful end. So, of course, the, he has uh, very motivated by the, uh, the social uh, contributions and his activity is well perceived and uh, very uh, uh, quality of design is uh, ready to use in many uh, applications probably because of these high motivations. But to me, the, this doesn't explain uh, my questions about creative design. So design is not just how to make it, right? To find out how to make it, maybe it's a very minimum uh, definition or meaning of design. But creative design include what to be designed and why and how and to what extent or to what level. So all of these must be answered at the same time. Well, the probably very simple or minimum engineering design will start from the, the idea of product and functions and specifications and maybe budget. And this process goes as a loop and make a design. But creative design to me include, uh, I feel that it includes the uh, first imaging what to be made and think about the law in the community and why it is necessary. And Professor Hirose doesn't say much, but probably curiosity, in other words, it's science, and also reality or maybe compromise or optimizations. These have to be included in one. And very importantly, they are not just hierarchical series order. They are mutually coupled and it's a parallel process between them, mutually uh, stimulating to each other. And this is a core part of the uh, communication between all of these is a kind of uh, tacit knowledge. And probably for education, the uh, 
the very big question is how to teach this creative mind as creative design. Professor Hirose has good uh, example of the, uh, the educator, and he's the creative designer, but also he's a, a very creative uh, teacher as the creative design. Well, the, I, I don't want to spend too much time, but the, uh, about 15 years ago, the, uh, myself and uh, uh, Professor Mark Katokowski organized the uh, summer school on robot design. And the, there are a few or uh, many uh, uh, speakers, but the, uh, on the fourth day, Professor Hirose uh, organized the hands-on in Tokyo Institute of Technology. And he gave this question to the student and young, uh, uh, young people uh, participating in the summer school. And uh, this is the uh, top view, and the yellow part is standing uh, pet bottle with waters, and red ones are standing pet bottle, empty pet bottle. And the robot has to start from this uh, square part and uh, hit the pet bottle down on the floor. That is his question. And the, uh, there's no electric energy, on the, only rubber band power is used. Well, this is how the, the 11 teams are challenging uh, the, on the project. Mm -hmm. And these are the uh, three... Uh, yeah. Ready? Oh, hey. uh, three, two, two uh, one, go. Go! go. <laughs> and uh, that's hey. very interesting. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay, well, anyway, so the educating the creative design is very difficult part. And Professor Hirose himself is the creative designer and creative uh, teacher of creative design. And he will offer you uh, one uh, quiz after his talk. Okay, Professor Hirose, please. Okay, thank you very much for your kind uh, introduction. Uh, well, uh, start to mine. Okay, so uh, my talk is about uh, 40 minutes, and uh, I want to talk about the uh, creative design. Well, my objective of my talk is, uh, is uh, to, to contribute to Fukushima Daiichi uh, decommissioning task. For just recently, I became advisor of a Tokyo Electric Power Company and uh, I make uh, a laboratory to assist uh, the, the task. And uh, for, for that task, we are always confronted with new problems. A series of new problems, and uh, we have to do something uh, new. So creativity is uh, uh, very important. And I think creative ideas come from the new combination of facts. Uh, it always be the combination. Okay. So to be uh, creative, you should know many facts and also know uh, for my example of the new way of combination. Uh, Anyway, we need uh, lots of facts, uh, lots of robots, the way of thinking, and how to combine them. And in this talk, I want to introduce uh, as many examples as possible uh, within a limited time uh, from my former studies. Okay, my uh, study started uh, from the observation of the real snake. I bought uh, the snake at uh, Shibuya, downtown Tokyo, there's a strange uh, snake restaurant, and I bought it. 
uh, and I did uh, lots of experiment. The, to the uh, topic is very interesting, but uh, I won't, uh, don't uh, go into detail at this time. Anyway, I, at that time, I had the time, uh, dreams to make uh, many snake-like uh, robots like this. And in 1972, I made a, a snake-like robot about two meters long, consists of 20 segments. And by shifting the uh, waving signal from the uh, front to rear, it started to move uh, very smoothly. And it was very, uh, very impressive. So I, I uh, keep working on uh, the uh, snake robot and uh, robotics at Raj. Anyway, in uh, 2006, I uh, developed the amphibious snake. It can move on the ground and also it can uh, swim like this. Uh, the body is uh, made of a uh, uh, cylinder and the barrels and completely watertight. So by using the, the buoyancy of the uh, air inside the body, uh, the total density is uh, one same as the water, so uh, it can move very uh, gently in the water. Uh, to make a snake-like uh, a mobile robot, uh, to imitate snake uh, uh, is not always the best. Uh, so we added the active wheel. So the uh, adaptive motion to the ground is made by the bending moment, of, um, bending motion of the body, and the propulsive motion is generated by the wheel. We can see the front and the rear cameras. Uh, this one is used to uh, see inside the uh, uh, wombat uh, barrel. Uh, uh, and the TV program uh, wanted to do that. And uh, we use a uh, snake robot. You can see the robot before and uh, the robot afterward. Uh, this is a view inside the wombat uh, barrel. Uh, there's a, a branch of the uh, pass, and uh, uh, we finally found uh, uh, the nest. But uh, the wombat was surprised. Uh, so he uh, hid it in a hole and closed the hole uh, by his ass. So uh, they say that the ass is very strong. Uh, so uh, that is a typical way to uh, avoid the attack. <laughs> in a company, a company called uh, Highbox. Uh, we asked to investigate uh, the long channel uh, deep inside the ground, about 30 meters uh, uh, in depth, and uh, the channel is filled with uh, dust and water. So uh, we made a watertight uh, chlora uh, system of course, uh, chlorine is very difficult for this condition for the uh, mud uh, enter into the uh, pulley and the belt. So uh, we uh, do the special uh, uh, mechanism to, uh, to get rid of the stack. And it works uh, very well. So we could know the condition of the channel and make a mapping. Apparently, it was uh, stacked. It started to make a kind of inch wall motion. Uh, maybe you can see it afterward. So by this way of motion, uh, it could uh, pass uh, about 100 meters. Okay, this is one of the uh, practical applications of the robot. Another one is, uh, uh, is the one uh, used in uh, Fukushima Daiichi, uh, the number one reactor. Uh, unfortunately, after several uh, months of investigation, the operator uh, 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 fall down from a step and it, uh, it's broken and left in the reactor. Yeah. Another one is, is uh, the Aurora uh, uh, carrier. Uh, you can see that Aurora is supported in the middle. Uh, active uh, mode and pass mode. If you 
make it the fast mode will uh, automatically adapt the geometry of the ground. So it uh, has uh, shown a very good dynamic image. And the body is uh, also supported uh, by a circular rail. And uh, uh, by maintaining the horizontal posture, the center of gravity of the vehicle automatically uh, remains in the middle of the vehicle. And that uh, makes uh, the vehicle very stable, even on the stick. So uh, this kind of uh, mechanism has uh, shown very useful. Critical environments. And uh, th this idea was licensed uh, to Mitsubishi Heavy Industry. And uh, Mitsubishi, Indus Mitsubishi Heavy Industry already made uh, several robots for inspection in, uh, after the Jeshu accident and also uh, Fukushima Daiichi uh, reactors. Another one uh, is a uh, rather simple mechanism. It consists of uh, uh, four wheels and the front and the rear wheels were connected with a crank. You know, crank is an extremely old-fashioned uh, mechanism, but uh, by adding uh, this simple mechanism, it can uh, uh, produce a very high terrain adaptivity and it can uh, climb up stairs and uh, it can also uh, swim uh, 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 on, the, on the water, just like an uh, outwheeler. So, uh, the very simple uh, mechanism, even if the mechanism is very simple, uh, proper combination can uh, generate the uh, uh, This one is a uh, uh, parent uh, chosen uh, type uh, robot. Uh, most of the uh, uh, parent student type, parents always carry the, uh, the child robot, uh, the child robot. But in this case, the wheel uh, itself is a uh, child robot. Uh, so uh, when it starts start to uh, move by uh, using the arm, so it's a ビデオの音量はほとんど消してくださった方がいいよ、良さそうです。オッケー。ちょっと待ってください。うん。できますかね。ちょっとこれなんかできない。
this one is uh, uh, this one demonstrates show that uh, uh, working robot uh, walks on rough terrain and if it's on the uh, uh, flat ground, it starts to uh, use uh, uh, roller skate uh, more. So uh, this is another combination of uh, two different uh, uh, ways of でもそうですね、やっぱり音が大きいです。大きい。いいな、これ。あ、まあ、まあ、完全に、オッケー。Okay. So I uh えっと。コンピューターの。はい。オッケー。えっと、これで。これでこれか。あ、大丈夫ですか。音は聞こえます。あ、いえ、今な、今は聞こえません。あ、僕の声が聞こえますね。あ、聞こえます。Okay, so uh, uh this one is uh what we call rotary surface wave mechanism. Uh, this is, uh, it looks rather strange, but uh, the dri driving mechanism is very simple. Just rotating uh, the load at the center uh, of each uh, uh, barrels, uh, drives the barrels uh, to make uh, uh, a kind of inch of motion. The principle is like this. Uh, as you see the light uh, high uh, figure, uh, we attached the disc uh, offset and also inclined. And if you rotate, the, the end of the uh, disc moves, just like a uh, 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 left side. So, uh, and it, it happens all around the disc. Okay? So, uh, and the disc is covered with the bellows uh, via high uh, bore, uh, bore bearing. So, uh, by using that, the surface is always uh, uh, making a uh, uh, traveling wave motion. Okay. That's also very simple, but I think it's an effective uh, mechanism. Uh, this this video presents is, uh, a new holonomic and omnidirectional vehicle with vehicle. high payload and high efficiency. Uh, this experimental apparatus shows the basic but, uh, phenomena is easy to align. Can generate. And, uh, well, the mechanism is right this, this is the constructed uh, vehicle named Vuitton. And, uh, it consists the of four crawler units which link three linearly rotor. rotated the rotor rollers. Is always, uh, Coordination control uh, of the four uh, crawlers uh, produces any translational uh, and rotational uh, motion uh, with no slippage based on the theorem. Position. It always uh, parallel. So even uh, though each the, free roller uh, is supported by still, a square frame uh, uh, and is driven by a pair of chains at the diagonal the corners, using this special ground. mechanism, the posture so of the, the free rollers uh, is always uh, kept horizontal. Is large, so this shows Bouton's motion under computer control. Uh, frictions to the ground and high uh, uh, thrusting motion. So this one is... Uh, わあ、すごいすごいすごいすごい。なんか見えるぞ。いい部屋だよ、俺。信号が見えてるよ。さあ、それではお願いいたします。あ、ちょっと揺れてる。ちょっと揺れてる。あ、揺れてる揺れてる
So uh, that kind of uh, biko is very useful. And uh, to make the biko uh, flat, uh, chlora is one thing. But another idea is to incline the wheel. But if you incline the wheel, just simply incline, the, if the two, two rollers contact the ground, uh, the direction of two rollers cannot be uh, parallel. So uh, there is a, a large uh, friction uh, uh, on the ground. To, to avoid uh, this, uh, I made a uh, uh, disc uh, with an uh, offset on, uh, rotating uh, axis. So by, uh, and uh, there's a crank on the uh, wheels. So you can see that all wheel uh, direct the same direction. And that one, uh, by this uh, mechanism, uh, even if a multi uh, two or three uh, uh, cast uh, contact the ground, the uh, friction uh, can be very small. And this one is uh, uh, used for... Uh, uh, おい、待っ and another example is anchor dive. Uh, I uh, worked with the uh, Tokyo Firefighter Department, and uh, they say that uh, it's a very dangerous task uh, to dive uh, to uh, look for the ground uh, person. Uh, and uh, so uh, they bought ROV. But the ROV, the position of ROV is very difficult to find in the uh, muddy water. Uh, they sometimes blow the ROV at the uh, top uh, surface of the water to know the position and to make a searching again. It's not so effective. And uh, the wire uh, is very easy tangled uh, the bottom, uh, the subject at the bottom of the sea. So I uh, made uh, And this device uh, was used uh, to uh, to investigate the victims uh, at the tsunami of uh, 2011. Uh, and uh, but but uh, there are uh, lots of uh, problems uh, when we uh, we try to uh, make a, a divers. So uh, we uh, modify the mechanism, and uh, we made this one. The mechanism, the body uh, becomes uh, very simple, uh, and uh, control that motion down by the normal mechanism. Okay, so by uh, you uh, by using that mechanism, you can uh, adjust. You can. Uh, uh, 
steered uh, uh, rover uh, ROV uh, with no uh, moving part. So uh, it's uh, much more like. <laughs> The object uh, you can uh, use a, a gripper and grasp. And uh, this idea is also uh, copied uh, by a company Another uh, uh, robot uh, that we uh, developed uh, until now is a bridge inspection uh, robot. Uh, until now, uh, this kind of vehicle is used. It has a very long arm, and the inspector is on the arm and to make inspection under the bridge. Okay, and. Uh, uh, in the uh, national uh, projects, uh, many, uh, about uh, ten, 10 groups uh, uh, joined the project, and most of them uh, proposed to use a drone. Of course, drone is a very uh, attractive uh, device, but uh, uh, when the wind is uh, uh, high, uh, uh, it may be affected. And also to identify the position of the inspected part is uh, difficult. Uh, so uh, we proposed a, a different approach. And what we did is like this. Uh, well, maybe this one. Mm. So uh, this is a, a inspection uh, task uh, and a very big bridge named the Fudo Ohashi Bridge. Uh, we first of all installed four, uh, two, two rods on each side of the uh, bridge. And at the top of the rod, there is a, a, a lead, active reel. And you can see that uh, uh, this rod is uh, inclined by the belt. So uh, by using this uh, kind of bracer, uh, the load can uh, very stably uh, locate uh, uh, the site. And from that uh, four uh, rod, uh, we extend uh, the wire and uh, hang the inspection uh, device at the bottom of, of the bridge. Okay. Uh, well, because uh, of uh, the robot is hanged by uh, four wires, uh, it's very stable, even in uh, a strong, a very windy uh, days. And we, by extending the load, it could uh, inspect the surface of the bridge uh, very uh, carefully. Uh, we are asked to make a 0 0.1 millimeter uh, crack uh, to, to, to detect the crack. And so uh, we're also uh, working on, on the uh, data processing uh, procedures. OK, uh, this one is another uh, uh, program to make uh, uh, snake-like uh, multi-joint arm. As you can see, it's uh, just a normal uh, rod with a spring bent uh, larger when the weight is outside. But in the case of a parallelogram mechanism, you can see that uh, even if the uh, position of the weight changes, it will be the same rate. It means that in the case of the parallelogram mechanism, uh, you can support the weight regardless of the, the position of the weight. So uh, uh, I. So I uh, decided to make uh, the, the multiple arm, uh, which weight is uh, uh, mechanically balanced by the spring. And you can see that the, this arm uh, is moving just like uh, non-gravity field. That's why I uh, named it uh, 
uh, Frotang. And uh, we did uh, many uh, uh, improvements. This one is a third force uh, model. And this one is uh, supported by multi screen around the body. And it, it, it could also support the weight. But we found that the uh, weight of the string is uh, too large. So uh, we changed the idea not by string but by wire to, uh, to uh, compensate uh, weight. And this one is a uh, uh, fifth model. Uh, there is a wire passing uh, uh, through inside the uh, arm. And at the end of the uh, arm, there is a counterweight as a base. So by using the uh, counterweight force, all uh, arm, okay, the weight of the whole arm is automatically balanced, regardless of the force, by using the so uh, this one is very useful. So uh, at present uh, the uh, startup company, uh, but uh, we may uh, high work is uh, going to use it for practical applications. Another idea. Uh, this one is also using the uh, It is driven not by wire attention, but by pneumatic uh, pressure. The arm itself is uh, 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 supplying the air. The weight is always fast. This one is uh, uh, already used in uh, factory, assembly factories. Uh, another topic is a wire. Wire is a very simple. Uh, components, uh, it looks very old fashioned, but if you properly use, it can be a very interesting uh, device. And uh, if the uh, uh, link and the pulley are free to rotate, and the wire is uh, 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 attached like this, you can see that the attraction wire drive all three joints. And it can automatically uh, adjust to uh, the, uh, the object. So, uh, uh, so we can say uh, we will make a, a kind of grip uh, which grips the object uh, softly. And in the case of the, uh, trying to uh, grip uh, uh, soft gripping, we found that the diameter of the pulleys should. Uh, um, change uh, parabolically. Okay. So by using that, we could uh, make uh, uh, a soft gripping uh, device. Uh, this one, uh, the second one uh, is for firefighters, and it can grasp the human body very gently. And the third model uh, was uh, uh, instead of the wire, it can uses a belt and it can generate the same things, same uh, functions. Okay. Another interesting uh, uh, idea by using the wire uh, and based on that, the same idea is the uh, couple driving mechanism. Uh, and if, uh, if, you are, if you want to make a multiple joints, uh, normally we add a very strong actuator as a base and the uh, small one the top at the end. Okay? But uh, in this case, if you try to uh, generate torque T uh, by uh, traction wire, uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, the same torque is generated to other joints. So uh, when you are going to generate 2T, T is already generated by this wire. So you, what you, have, you need is to uh, generate T. And this one, 2T is already generated, so you supply the tension to produce T. So by this way, uh, uh, the, the coupling effect of the traction wire to drive uh, 
front segment uh, is uh, actively used for driving the base segments. Okay? And uh, by that, uh, based on that idea, uh, we made a CTM uh, like this. Uh, it was uh, done by uh, Professor Ma of Ritsumeika University, and uh, <clears throat> uh, we could show that the uh, we can produce a very strong uh, 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 payload, large payload. Afterward, I, I found that the uh, same principle is already used in the uh, muscular and tendon driving mechanism of our body. In the case of the uh, tendon uh, driving the finger, the tendon to uh, drive uh, this uh, front finger passing through this, and this one passing through this. So uh, these uh, traction force uh, is also used to uh, make a rotating motion of this joint. So that's why this is the same principle of a CTM, and that's why even though the uh, muscular uh, driving, uh, it, it's a rather slender uh, a finger can produce rather big force. And based on this idea, I uh, already uh, made uh, uh, the commission robot. Uh, the task is to see inside the deep, uh, corrupted uh, building of uh, uh, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear reactor first. And uh, this uh, load uh, can extend, uh, uh, hold it and extend to change the posture. And we could uh, insert it and make uh, inspection in the uh, debris uh, quite effectively. So uh, it works uh, very well. So uh, I tried to, uh, the time is almost up, but I tried to uh, explain my uh, former experiment e experience to make uh, uh, new robots. And I, I think uh, uh, we, Japan is uh, challenged to uh, make a very good decommission robot for Fukushima Daiichi, or it may last 40 or 50 years and very uh, new idea is always uh, used. Uh, for example, at present, uh, the urgent task is to uh, make, uh, to get the sample of the debris uh, from the uh, crafted uh, uh, reactors. In the case of uh, the, uh, nuclear reactor number two, there's a hole named the X, uh, X6. Uh, uh, penetration, and uh, it's about uh, uh, 500 millimeter in diameter, <clears throat> about two meters long. So the robot should uh, pass through such narrow hole and to extend and to uh, grip the debris. That's very challenging. Uh, total length is about 15 meter length. So uh, it's very challenging, uh, but we have to do that. So, uh, so many things to do, and it should be done by teleoperation. And most of the time, the electric path is uh, very vulnerable against uh, uh, radiation. So uh, old-fashioned um, uh, mechanical system is a uh, uh, best solution. So I hope uh, uh, somebody who are uh, uh, create who always interested in the mechanism and uh, uh, think to do want to do something creative, uh, please uh, join us. Uh, we we made a, a hero laboratory, hazardous environment robotics laboratory, uh, and uh, to try to assist to get it to up our company. So maybe it might be very useful, uh, interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm uh, uh, hoping to have some questions. At the end of this talk, I want to discuss with a quiz uh, I showed uh, beforehand. Uh, when I was a high school student, it was my role.
to, uh, to watch the water level and stop at the certain level. Sometimes I watch TV and forget about it and water overflowed. So I decided to make some uh, sensor. Uh, but of course, uh, if we can use electric pass, it's very easy. So uh, I made some uh, the device uh, without uh, electricity. So I, I hope you think uh, about it and give me a uh, question, uh, answers. Okay. So uh, are there, uh, I hope, uh, are there any replies? Uh, you know, Sensei, so Hi. far we have not many, ah, yeah, there is a new one. Oh. Uh, why the couple tendon drive principle has not been used as much in power prosthetics arms and oh. whether it may happen? Well, uh, mm, maybe people uh, is not aware of uh, the effectiveness of uh, uh, this. Uh, of course, uh, uh, when, uh, it is coupled the control uh, uh, is not so easy, especially if when you are thinking about the dynamics. Uh, dynamic effect uh, uh, is influences to other joints. So uh, we, we need a rather sophisticated control uh, uh, methods. But uh, uh, if we want to do something, uh, uh, the, we want to make some uh, arm uh, to do some uh, high payload task, and uh, we don't need to uh, drive it so so fast. I think uh, it's a very good idea to use it in uh, prosthetics. Okay, thank you. That was a question from uh, Shibani Gutta Salma. Okay, and thank the, you. Uh, well, the well, this is not, may not be a question, but Professor Luzena Becci is asking cool. if uh, she can uh, use your slide for his, uh, her, her lecture. Oh. For the <laughs> no, no problem at all, really easy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, the, so in the, the, the tendon balancing mechanisms, uh, I still uh, couldn't understand very well the uh, you can balance all the links oh. uh, against the gravity okay. for any configurations. Okay. Is that is that the one that you can do with only one counterweight with wires? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, well, Jokuch, sorry. I hope it's. Um, Uh, can you see this one? Yes. Oh. Okay, so uh, the idea is uh, rather simple. Uh, if uh, ah. First of all, uh, the idea to balance by a uh, spring is already commercially used for the stand. Okay. So uh, that's the uh, reason why I don't like to use, I, I, like, I keep using the spring uh, balancing mechanism. And instead, I use a wire mechanism. And uh, the, this is a four bar linkage. And uh, by using this uh, kind, uh, kind of program, uh, if you give the, oh, uh, the, the ratio of uh, the weight, this one, and uh, this length and this ring ratio, if you uh, give a, a much stronger force, you can balance uh, this uh, weight. And when uh, this way wire go, comes this way and this way, and here uh, you need uh, to balance the weight 
uh, not only for the uh, the weight of the uh, depend, but also the weight of the uh, arms. So it's much larger. So you need a, a stronger force. Okay. So, uh, but by using this uh, uh, double pulley mechanism, uh, the diameter is different. So F1 is stronger than F2 with a ratio of this. By using this, uh, you can uh, change the traction force of the wire and uh, you can balance it. And as, uh, uh, by using the counterweight uh, over linkage uh, uh, mechanism, uh, the center, the position of the center gravity is negligible. Okay? So even if uh, the arm moves uh, in all direction in no, uh, your axis and the pitch angle, it doesn't matter. It's always a balancing. Okay, that's a, a, a basic idea. There's another uh, method, but uh, by uh, this way, uh, even if the uh, number of joints uh, uh, is ra a large, ma multiple uh, joints, you can balance it. I see. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, you are receiving many questions. Uh, the, uh, first of all, the uh, uh, do you have any common method mm. when you start designing? Well, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's similar oh. similar question. Uh, another similar question is from Professor uh, Giulio Sandini. He's oh. asking uh, oh. how often uh, you start from mechanism and look for solutions, or vice versa. Oh. so. What is your thinking when you do design? Do okay. you have any general form or style? Uh, well, it's an interesting question. Uh, of course, uh, first uh, I start to, uh, I, I'm uh, uh, in a startup company and we asked, well, especially the decommissioning uh, task. There are lots of uh, demand, uh, very difficult task. So I have to think the solution for that task, and we think a lot of uh, 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 mechanisms. Uh, but at the same time, when I think something, I develop something, I try to uh, put it a, a kind of a drawer. And in, in the case of the uh, differential mechanism, uh, the the wire driving system uh, is one of the differential mechanisms. So uh, when we categorize the mechanism uh, in one drawer, and then, uh, for example, when I'm thinking about the uh, wire driving uh, mechanism, I, I can think that uh, the same uh, mechanism can be uh, used by the uh, uh, planetary gear mechanism or uh, bevel gear mechanisms. Uh, so uh, I always thinking uh, from the necessity uh, applications uh, to the mechanism. And sometimes uh, when I find uh, something uh, very interesting mechanism, I start to think about it and try to find a new way or a new uh, combination with uh, a different type of uh, mechanism and to think something new. So uh, my answer is that uh, both. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, you have another question, which is very, very important. The, uh, have you had any experience with computationally optimized design? Do you see a potential for these techniques? And it, probably in the similar line, is the AI Com computation? What do you mean? Computational huh? optimization design. Uh, do you have the experience of he using heavy computational optimization to design something? What or do you, mean? Do you see uh, com computer simulation? Uh, computer simulation for uh, designing uh, uh, okay. some of your system. Okay. Uh, well, uh, basic idea uh, is always uh, 
uh, with no computers, uh, just uh, uh, thinking uh, while I'm sleeping or just uh, relaxed and using the, some figures on the uh, uh, papers. Uh, but uh, uh, for example, when we are making a, a, a 3D model and the, the contact uh, problem is a very difficult to image, of course, uh, we did uh, 3D CADs and uh, some kind of simulations. And sometimes when uh, we are developing the uh, water uh, uh, hydraulic generator, uh, uh, we have uh, a simulator of, of the water flow. And I found it's a very useful. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, in my opinion, it's only a, a tool. Uh, and sometimes uh, to think something to make the real model, uh, even if it's small, uh, the size is different, it's okay, but the three-dimensional uh, model is uh, very intuitive uh, to see the problems or the, the direction to go. Well, another question uh, mm -hmm. is from uh, Luca. Uh, he is asking, uh, if uh, is AI being used to control some of your robot? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, when I was developing the uh, working robot, uh, I was uh, thinking the uh, AI uh, like uh, control system, and uh, some of, uh, for example, ah, I omitted because of the limit of the time. Uh, when I'm uh, developing a big working robot uh, to make a construction uh, task uh, to avoid uh, the contact of the uh, very fragile object, uh, we use a vision system and a kind of AI to find the optimal uh, place, uh, position to place a foot. But uh, not not so <laughs> sophisticated uh, uh, AI uh, control controllers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, another question. Uh, mm. uh, so what is your favorite cable driven type or cable driven construction? Well, <laughs> well, well, unfortunately, I couldn't, I cannot uh, explain about uh, our latest project, but uh, as for the, uh, the task to penetrate inside a very small hole, uh, I'm designing the, uh, the very long arm about uh, 40 meters in the, uh, length, and uh, we use uh, a very new wire supporting mechanism. And that, that's uh, my favorite now. So every time I do, do something, <laughs> I the like new one. the new one. <laughs> sure. Okay, so uh, another question from Shi Handu. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there any suggestion on the ungrounded wearable mechanism design? Ungrounded? Mm -hmm. Ungrounded. Um, what do you mean ungrounded? Okay. Not fixed on the ground, probably. Oh, well, mm, maybe the, uh, somebody already, already proposing, but uh, uh, wearable device uh, should be extremely lightweight. And uh, most of them uh, use these uh, sensors, actuators, and batteries, but uh, I think most of the tasks can be done uh, by mechanism uh, with uh, some a kind of uh, uh, energy storage uh, system like a spring or air cylinder, and that uh, greatly reduce the weight and the price. So that might be uh, very practical. I wanted to do something, but uh, at the time it's limited for me, I, I, I do nothing. Thank you very much. Uh, there are a few answers to your quiz. Mm. So would you like to oh, yeah. show you the solution? 
Yeah. Uh, okay. So. Anyway, I wanted to see uh, people's uh, answer, but uh, hmm. uh, I'll show what I did. Well, this is a as a device I made when I was high school. I uh, uh, choose a pipe. Uh, at the top, there's a whistle, and uh, tube with a heavy cup, and there's a hook. So, uh, and this device is attached on the side wall of the uh, bus stand. And when the water level goes up, uh, the uh, buoyancy of the cup uh, lift and the hook is separated from the ring. Okay? And the water levels go higher, uh, then uh, the water enter into the cup and the uh, uh, hose suddenly goes down. And the uh, water enters and compressed air uh, try to go outside and the whistle start to uh, blow. Okay. It works very well. Uh, but uh, just uh, may, may, maybe a few uh, attention years ago, I made uh, 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 this device to show a uh, 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 simplified idea. It's a pet bottle uh, with a weight and the hole at the side. And there's a uh, anchor. When the water level goes up, it is floated, but the anchor's length is uh, it fixed the uh, lifting motion. Uh, and the water start to go to enter from the uh, hole. And uh, then suddenly the buoyancy decreases and it start to sink. And they are compressed and start to grow. It works. Uh, at present, uh, the uh, Japanese uh, bus stop uh, too automated and it, it stopped automatically. And so we don't need this kind of uh, alarm anymore. But I think uh, this kind of uh, idea, uh, uh, the way of thinking is extremely important, especially if when we are thinking about the decommissioning uh, robot of a nuclear reactor. We have to uh, think everything. We have to use everything. So uh, my conclusion was uh, like this. Uh, for creative design of working mechanism, let us use all kind of physical phenomena and the simple mechanisms. Uh, we don't need to use um, complicated mechanism. But the simple act, uh, no, no, ho proper use of uh, simple mechanism is extremely important. And uh, we, was, we always try to combine uh, the things. And if you combine, it becomes complicated. And uh, let us uh, make it simple. Uh, so uh, new facts, new combinations, combines, and make it simple. I think that process is uh, very important for creative design, especially for the robotic uh, mechanisms. That's what I want to say. Well, thank you very much. But You're before closing uh, the session, uh, may I ask two more questions that we received? Okay. The uh, one is probably common for you. The, uh, the cable will have the problem with elongation mm -hmm. and uh, needs regular maintenance. Do you maintain the robot on a regular basis? Well, uh, of course, it depends on, on the uh, tension uh, level. Uh, in the case of the working robot, uh, I made a Titan 8. Uh, we uh, use a lot of wires. And, uh, uh, but uh, no, no, pre-load, pre pre-tension, uh, after the pre-tension, the extension uh, level is very small. 
So we don't need to adjust so much. And just now, uh, we are using the uh, uh, Dyneema, uh, a very strong uh, wire and very lightweight, and the extension uh, level is very small. So uh, we actively use that one, uh, we make a very a practical uh, a machine. But uh, uh, mm, of course, uh, uh, the, we need uh, some adjustment and uh, we have to uh, measure the uh, conditions of, of wire, uh, wire condition, some other uh, methods. Okay, so the last one, the, uh, uh, may I ask what is your advice for young robotics student in conducting mm. research or any other aspect? Mm. Advice for young student. Okay, uh, of course, uh, the uh, uh, robotics uh, uh, field is very wide. Uh, the uh, computer science, uh, electronics, and uh, mechanics. But at least for um, mechanical engineers, uh, I uh, I think I, I well I myself had a little bit uh, not confident about the importance of uh, mechanical design when I was a student. But now I feel uh, uh, I'm very confident about it. For uh, mechanism uh, is a core of, of the robot. And if it's not good, uh, even if you work very hard on uh, uh, AI or the part, it doesn't work. So uh, uh, in, for the uh, a robotist in the mechanical field, I hope uh, you uh, should have uh, lots of confidence and uh, 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 work very hard and uh, study uh, uh, many former examples and to uh, train yourself to make you very creative. Okay. Well, thank you very much, uh, Professor Hirose. So, uh, for me, the uh, I think the uh, I like particularly your your uh, sentence that the next robot is your favorite one. That yeah. is <laughs> that yeah. is very encouraging for everyone, yeah. and to see uh, your next uh, development, mm -hmm. and also the uh, the the simplicity and the reliability, and maybe lightweight uh, design, is the crucial uh, the part of robot, robot mechanisms and robot mm -hmm. systems. And yep. uh, I think after running many of your development, it became really, really clear for, for me and uh, I hope also for everyone who, who are participating today. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think the, I'm getting closer to understand what is uh, creative design, but still <laughs> it is very mysterious and uh, I think uh, we have to, I have to watch how uh, Hirose Sensei will continue being creative <laughs> about the designer. Uh. Well, finally, and not the least, of course, the, uh, I'm really happy and uh, feel very strong that the Professor Hirose is committed to Fukushima Daiichi uh, the commissioning project. The, I hope the the uh, uh, anybody us anybody of us can uh, uh, collaborate uh, to uh, help or to contribute to that uh, important missions. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Hiroshi Sensei, again, uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to your next <laughs> talk sometime soon. Okay. Uh. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, very good uh, facilitating the, this uh, colloquium. Okay. Well, for everyone, the, uh, this is the end of the uh, Robotics Global Curricular, uh, Colloquium uh, <clears throat> from the International Foundation of Robotic Research. The, uh, the colloquia will continue every uh, two weeks. So uh, sometimes it's on Thursdays and to, 
this case, the uh, in some area in the world uh, on Thursday, but in others on Wednesday evening. So this is very uh, sometimes complicated, but please uh, watch and wait the announcement and make sure you are tuned. Thank you very much, everyone participating and asking questions. Okay. This is the end of the, the, the colloquium. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.